I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. An assistant attorney general is named Flagler County's much-needed second judge. Governor Ron DeSantis appointed Andrea Totten of Palm Coast to the position Tuesday. Totten was one of six finalists, all who hailed from Flagler. The 40-year-old Republican says she wants to be a judge because she's committed to public service and loves working for the court. She's best known for handling the appeal of Matthew Apperson, who was convicted of attempted murder for trying to kill George Zimmerman in 2015. Zimmerman was acquitted of killing teen Trayvon Martin. The case got a lot of media attention, and in her application, Totten said she handled the pressure well. Totten joins Melissa Distler on the bench. The two will share the county's growing workload of civil cases and misdemeanors. It's unclear when Totten officially starts her new job, but she won't be up for re-election until 2022. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Delta Airlines nonstop to Atlanta, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. Palm trees in Florida are under attack from a fatal disease. John Arking reports. Called LBD, or lethal bronzing disease, it began on the Gulf Coast but has become a nearly statewide problem, according to City of Palm Coast urban forester Carol Minnie. LBD has been found in many different counties. It's been in St. John's and Volusia. Currently, we haven't seen it in Flagler, but we are in between two that are infected. So the likelihood of us getting it is pretty high, but us doing education and trying to get everyone to learn where their turf is coming from. Also, palm trees. If you're purchasing palm trees, where are you getting them from? Is the nursery, do they have a certificate that says these palm trees are not infected with LBD? Florida nurseries, businesses, and homeowners have all been forced to scrap infected palms, and while some preventative measures can be taken, once a tree is infected, uprooting it's the only practical solution. The disease is transmitted by a tiny winged insect, sometimes called a tree hopper that injects the bacteria through their saliva when feasting on the sap from a palm's leaves. Once inside, the bacteria clog the tree's circulatory system and starve it. The disease gets its name because once an infected tree dies, its fronds and central spear leaf transform from green to a telltale shade of bronze. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arking. A leadership academy aims to develop the cream of the crop. Tony Magoo has the story. Flagler County this week launched a leadership academy. It's structured like the programs undertaken by Fortune 500 companies, said Dr. Joe Saviak, executive director of Flagler Sheriff's Leadership Institute, who is facilitating this program along with County Administrator Jerry Cameron. With me this morning is Julie Murphy, Flagler County Public Information Officer. When County Administrator Jerry Cameron came on in March, he recognized the potential benefits for strengthening the organizational structure of our agency and doing that through developing the leadership abilities of our staff. It will strengthen the organizational culture, the performance, and the retention of employees, said Administrator Cameron. Julie, how many people will be in the class? Fewer than 20 staff members. That includes two from the sheriff's office and two from the tax collector's office. You cannot grow people unless you empower them, Cameron added. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. What is the difference between domestic abuse and domestic violence? Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley says it's sometimes difficult to tell. For us, we need signs of physical abuse or you see a disarray, things thrown around, broken. We need some collaboration of what we're being told. Now, that can be done by witnesses. Sheriff Staley said that domestic violence is the overall encompassing definition of both terms. He said that his department investigates every case individually, and if his department cannot determine, for instance, who the aggressor is in the case, they will then turn it over to the state's attorney's office so they can investigate it further. To hear the entire interview, download the Flagler Radio app and go to the Free For All Friday podcast. Tomorrow, how the GPS ankle monitor helps the domestic violence victim and the perpetrator. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.